Hi, Richard Young here. Today I'm going to be looking at the new Epson A2 Fine Art Printer, the Surecolor P906, also known as the P900 overseas. This is the replacement of the old P800 printer that I've been using for the last two years to teach fine art printing on our workshops. The new printer is smaller, lighter and offers an improved ink set to the older printer. So let's get it out of the box and take a look. Right, I think I've successfully removed all the tape and cellophane from the printer and I'm now going to install the ink set. The P906 has one additional ink compared to the P800, a uh, violet ink to extend the gamma on the blue and the purple channels to print those more saturated colours. The photo black and the matte black both now have dedicated channels. So this means no more black switching between glossy and matte papers, which is a real time saver and also saves ink. Compared with the P800 printer, the new P906 has got a very slick new design, which is really gonna make it sit in very well here in the gallery and sit very nicely on my desk. I've decided the first image I'd like to print on the new printer is this stunning shot of some silver birch trees I recently captured while down south on a trip scouting some new workshop locations. This image has some beautiful, soft, subtle tones and transitions in it, which I think are going to render really well on a fine art paper. I've selected the cold press bright paper for this image, and I'm just going to print this on it now in Epson print layout. The P906 has a front fine art feeder, just like the P800, and I'm going to load this media via the front art feeder. The printer features a brilliant new LCD display that shows all the information of the current print job, including the time remaining. I can even click to get a preview of the current printed image, and the information on the settings being used for the current print. I can also turn on and off the internal light inside the printer. As the first print I've made on this printer, I'm really happy with the final print. I think it captures all the beautiful subtle tones and transitions that I visualize in the image and really expresses what I wished the photograph to capture. There's a level of detail in this image that only can be produced by high-end fine art printers like this. Setting up the printer for the first time really has been very straightforward. For anybody that's used to working with an Epson printer or has owned a P800 in the past, the setup and installation of the driver is very much the same, and the print dialog and print driver looks just the same as in the past. There's a couple of new printing options which I'm just going to look at now. For printing on photographic papers, and especially in black and white, there's some really good new features in the print driver. Both the advanced overcoat option and the carbon black, which are both designed to give a deeper, richer black in your photograph. I've chosen to print this image because it's a very dark, contrasting image with a lot of deep blacks, but there's still some shadow detail in it, and I really want to see how this renders using both the overcoat and the carbon black feature and the difference it makes to the deepness of the blacks. I'm hoping there'll be a real deep, rich black with the new carbon black feature.
looking at these two prints, I can clearly see a difference in the black tones in these images. The top one, even though it's probably hard to see on this video, has been printed with both the advanced overcoat and the carbon black option. It's got a much deeper, richer black that's really got a lot of depth to it within the print. Um, I'm really looking forward to using this option a little bit more and testing it more with some black and white printing. But from the initial test on this image, it's definitely produced a much richer black. To make stunning fine art prints, you need a really good image to start with. And the best printer in the world won't produce good prints out of bad images. Some of the differences between this printer and the old P800 are quite subtle. But for me, as somebody that sells my work as limited edition fine art prints, I'm looking forward to seeing how much more I can get out of the printing process and how many of those tones and textures and details and depths that I capture in the field that I can reproduce in my final prints. Thank you.